What's up, Granos and Granettes? Juan Granos, back again, this time with another review. As always, when a manufacturer or retailer sends me something to review, I gotta let you know, this is a sponsored review. So today we're gonna be talking about gadgets. I love gadgets, I love doing reviews about gadgets. Gadgets, gadgets, gadgets. So today we're gonna be talking about a gadget called Wallabot. Now, this gadget is basically an X-ray vision gadget. Now, this is recommended for Anybody who's into building, you know, like if, you, if you're uh, a carpenter or you are, uh, you know, a plumber, if you are a person who just works in in um in building, you know, in construction, this is probably the gadget you want to get. Now, before I say anything else, this is a gadget that attaches to your phone. Okay, it's not a it's not a standalone gadget. It needs a phone to function. Now, for you Apple fanboys like myself, this is not compatible with Apple yet. I mean, maybe they'll be working on an app in the future, but right now it is not compatible with Apple. So this is for you Android users. So if you're an Apple user, just skip this video because it's not going to work for you. So let's talk about the, the wall scanner. Now this is called the Wallabot DIY wall scanner. Now, basically the, the whole point of this little gadget, which we're going to be doing an unboxing and a testing, um, is that you can see through walls, you know, it'll, it'll detect wooden um, studs, it'll detect metal studs. Um, pipes and wires and movement so like if you have mice you know that you're trying to catch behind the wall this stuff is gonna help you catch it or I should say detect them you know probably not catch them um, so let me just go over quick out of the this is what it says in the box and I'm just gonna really really quick see up to four inches in depth large mat a large area so you could scan a large area um, identify objects you know wooden studs metal studs wires and um, basically, this saves you time and money. You know, what's the worst? When you start making holes on the wall, like look at this wall. We're gonna test it on this wall right here. Um, you start making holes, trying to look for that stud, like when you wanna install like TV, um, this stuff is gonna help you do that. Now, I, re I mean, this is great for an individual. You know, if you're a dude like me that likes to do stuff around the house, um, I actually opened this already and I used it because I wanted to test it out before I do the, the review. Um, what I can tell you does work, but we're, I'm gonna show you in the video how it works. Um, why don't we just do a quick unboxing? So here we go. Box is here already. Like I said, I already opened this box. And here's the unit. So the unit, from what I can tell, it does not have any sort of battery. It's sort of, it's just this piece here. And this piece is the one that goes to the side of the phone. And this is basically the scanner. This is what you put on the wall and you scan, right? Um, here is the connector. So you could just plug in your phone to this. All the wires you need to connect it to your phone are included in the box, even a USB-C type wire. Um, so basically, you connect your um, uh, micro USB there. Let's see what else is in the box. Um, you have this little piece, which I'm gonna use it right now. I'll show you where this goes. This little piece goes here. So when you put it in the back of your phone, it doesn't move around. So it's, it's like a, one of those little suction sort of deals that you put in your car and it's very sticky. Um, it does have like a, the little logo there. So we're gonna try to place it right where the other logo is. So just take a look right. Let's see, make sure I get this. Yeah, that's good enough, right there. So then you take this piece off and you will attach it to the phone. We're gonna be doing that in a second. So like I said, it brings all the wires you need to use it. So here is the micro USB to micro USB wire which you need to connect it to the particular phone I have. I have a Samsung Galaxy 8 or 6, whatever the hell it is. Um, and it does bring a C-type USB for the newer phones. Um, there's another piece here, which I, again, I haven't used. This piece, it's a basically a protector for your wall. So this piece is a little um, uh, plastic piece that you put, you take it off, there it is. We're just gonna install this right now so you guys see how this works. And this goes right here in the back of the unit. The whole point of this is when you slide the unit on your wall, it doesn't scratch your wall. It doesn't, you know, uh, you know, mess up your paint. It doesn't do all that stuff. So we're just gonna try to do this here on camera. And there it is. There it is. So you just put that in the back. You know, it's like one of those things you put on your phone, like a little screen protector. But this is actually a wall protector. And it does have instructions. And I do recommend you read the instructions so you can get it working correctly. Now, I did try to just go like I usually do, just open the box, try it out, see how it works. Uh, in this case, I had to read the instructions to see how it works. So before I go to the wall, I'm gonna show you um, basically how it connected to the phone. Now, you do have to download um, the app, which is called um, Wallabot um, D uh, DIY. And this is what it looks like. This is what that app looks like there. Oop, there it is. 
um, is basically, you know, let's just, uh, I want to make sure I get this on camera. So I'm just going to start it up. So the first thing it tells you is connect the USB to the DIY um, unit. So I'm going to take this little label off here. So just so we can stick this to the back. And this is pretty cool. Once you stick it there, it sort of stays. And there it is. Look at that. All right. So you just take the wire, plug it right in. And do this. And now it will start to detect the unit and he'll say, you know, allow, uh, you know, to access your phone. You say, yes. Um, I always say use um, by default all the time. So I don't want to have to add every time I plug it in, it doesn't ask me. So now the, the, the wallet is connected to your phone. And the first thing it asks you, select the wall type that you are going to be scanning. In my case, um, I have the camera set up as you can see. In my case, um, the wall is a dry wall. So we're just going to set dry wall up here. And now we have to calibrate. Now I'm going to jump to the other camera. So as I mentioned before, so now what we have to do is we have to calibrate the unit. So basically it says place the unit directly on the wall and then tap to calibrate. Let's try to do that. See if it works on camera. <laughs> Um, sorry about my dirty wall, but don't worry about that. Let's try to do this on camera. So it tells you start um, making um, a circular motion. Um, I'm going to start press scan right here and I'm going to start. Let me see. Let me make sure I get this in the middle of the camera here. Okay, there we go. And let's start making a circular motion. And it tells you it sort of like does a whole thing. And it tells you it gets make it wider, make it wider, make it wider, make it wider. And there it is. Calibration complete. So the calibration is complete, and now it suggests three scan modes. There is um, panning mode, basically where you go from left to right, and then there is expert mode, um, which shows you a lot more details, and then there's images. So the first thing we're gonna try, we're gonna try the panning mode. And basically panning mode, you start from one end of the wall to the other, and it'll try to scan whatever's behind this wall. So let's try to do that. It says, Tap and hold here, and let's go and start scanning. Now the cool part is, it does give you inches as you go by. The further you go, you know, the further you go, how many inches you're doing, and it's pretty accurate. I mean, it's accurate to a certain extent. Let's see, how, am I in the camera? Yes, I'm still in the camera. All right, so let's see what we got here. So now the next thing it shows you is, this picture with different colors. Now, different colors represent different parts of the wall, whether it's a, uh, a, a stud, whether it's a, um, a wire. Now, my favorite way to scan is actually with images. So let's go try that. And we're gonna try scanning with images. And let's see if it gives us any studs behind this wall. Let's start scanning and let's go. Now, it hasn't detected anything yet. But it should be up. Oh, there it is. So right here, this is stud. And actually, I can actually see a little nail that is right here. Now, let's see. Let's see if we get this again. Oh, there it is. So there's a stud right here. Very accurate. You know why? I know for a fact there's a stud right here because when I put this wall up, I put a stud there. So check that out. Shows me a stud. Now, this is pretty cool. Now, there's actually wires behind this wall as well that goes over to the, to the breaker box over there. Um, let me see if I can find it. There it is. Oh, there it is. So there it is. There's the wire. It calls it either a wire or a pipe. It doesn't really know because it could be a pipe because it could be a metal pipe or the metal wire. But definitely, as you can see, there is the stud, which is oh, right here. And there it is. This is pretty accurate because I know for a fact that the stud is right there in the middle. So we're going to try expert mode. Now, expert mode is mostly um, to find spots, hidden, hidden spots behind your wall, like holes, Maybe mice are running in there. Um, this, uh, this is how you will suit, uh, use it. So let me try to use it. I'm not sure if it's going to find anything. Um, it, I mean, I shouldn't have any holes here. Hopefully not. But there it is. It found the stud again. It's still to figure out where the stud is at. And it goes by like a heat signature, you know? So that's what we got here. And oh, it finds another. This, again, this, this is where the stud is at. Because if I switch it to camera, I'm sorry, to, to images, um, there it is. Solid stud. I'm sorry wooden stud so that's where it is very cool i'm very impressed what i do like is to when you have um the pan feature of this 
you could save the image and then analyze it later. Now, me personally, I prefer to use the images, which because I'm looking for studs on the wall. I don't remember. I don't remember exactly where I put the studs when I put this wall up. So now I know I could come here, scan it scan this and then know that there's a stud right here and I could maybe if I want to put a flat screen TV I know there's a stud going down this way and I could just install it on this wall. So as you can see the unit works the way it's supposed to work. It's very simple to use. Anybody could use this. It um, doesn't take an expert to learn how to use it. Now as you can see it says metal now because my, my hand is behind here. It always thinks that bone is metal for some reason. Um, maybe I have you know titanium in my hand. Um, but the unit works the way it's supposed to work. I did try it in concrete. It works just as well. Um, I did have some trouble at the beginning because what happened was um, I didn't install the little plastic piece that is holding the unit into my phone. So my phone kept falling. So, um, you know, because I wanted to install it when I was doing the video, but that was the only problem I had. Other than that, this works. So if you're looking for a way to um, find um, things in your wall, metal studs, wooden studs, I definitely recommend the Wallabot DIY Stud Finder. Now the unit is available right now in, on Amazon. Um, I believe it's like 65 bucks or something like that. Like I said, if I have a coupon code, I'm gonna leave it in the description. Now, this is a perfect unit. If, ladies, if your man is a carpenter, if your man is in construction, if your man does um, uh, is an electrician or he's a plumber, he needs this little unit. He does need the phone as well. So remember, this only works with Android for now. Maybe in the future they will add um, Apple to it, but for now it only works with Android. So make sure that you have an Android phone to make this work with it. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed this small review. You've been watching LG TV. I am Juan Granos. Find me on Instagram, Los Granos. Find me on YouTube, Los Granos. Find me on Twitter, Los Granos. Find me on Facebook, Los Granos. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and share. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.